The European Express Association and its member companies are working in an environment with ever-growing volumes, fast changes, and challenging legal requirements. The new VAT package of the European Union and the related customs rules are the most substantial change we have faced since the introduction of the Union Customs Code in 2016. The removal of the VAT de minimis and the introduction of the formal customs declaration for all imported goods into the European Union has significantly changed our daily operation. With almost one year of experience, after the introduction of the new rules, we can state that with significant comprehensive preparation, the changes were implemented mostly without the goods in our network being stopped at the border, despite the fears before the start date. Taking into account the overall impact of the changes, we did encounter some issues. This required, at times, intensive problem solving to establish workable and compliant solution where we used the private-public partnership approach. We understand that the e-commerce package of the European Union ensures level playing field for the EU businesses, introduces facilitation for our customers acting as sellers also established in third countries, and improves the experience of our customers. It also serves to enhance the import customs clearance of goods in our network and the fast delivery of express consignment. The new rules are the outcome of a close cooperation between the legislator, the National Tax and Customs Administration, and the express industry. Thus, it ensures the possibility for seamless import customs clearance of goods and fast delivery of express consignment. We believe that commonly agreed standards and harmonized implementation can lead to efficient planning and successful application of new rules procedures and systems. This should be the same also for the future changes. The European Express Association offers its full collaboration to the European Commission with its subject matter expertise in order to come up with solutions which are effective and of added value for governments, EU businesses, EU citizens, and thus enhance the overall competitiveness of the European Union. The adjustment and the assessment of the current legal rules are necessary so that they are not only serving the traditional types of transaction, but they are also fitting to the changed environment of the international trading of goods.